Hello, my lovelies. It's good to see you all today. I hope you've had a good week. Today in the United States, it is Labor Day, which um, you may have some feelings about. It means it's the unofficial end of summer, and that might give you some feelings about lost opportunities and fun times you had and all the complications of the end of the season. Maybe as a family you can talk about what it means to have had six months of shelter in place and what that has done for you. You started school, work, things like that, and that's all very complicated. And sometimes that means it's hard to celebrate, but it is Labor Day and that is a day that we have set aside to celebrate workers unions and the fight for safe jobs. So I put down in the show description a few ways to celebrate Labor Day, but I just want to share a few ideas with you right here beyond just, you know, cookouts and furniture sales. So one way you can do Labor Day today and every day is by listening to old labor songs. Those are some favorites in our house. I particularly like songs by Pete Seeger and Melvina Reynolds, who are old folk singers and labor activists and who just happen to have been Unitarian Universalists. So I have some of my favorite Pete and Melvina songs down below. You can read Click Clack Moo, The Cows That Type, uh, especially if you have little ones. That's a great book about collective labor and organizing and working to make sure that everyone has safe housing and safe work environments. You can explore local labor history. So I'm going to put a few links down below on things that happened in Alameda County that made living and working a lot safer. And you can donate to Jobs with Justice, which is an organization working to promote safer and uh, better wages for, for janitors. And one way that we're celebrating in our household today is we're going to be writing thank you notes to local uh, essential workers. So we have one here for our firefighters, our postal workers, and also our grocery store across the street. So that's one way to thank our essential workers who've been spending so much of their time and energy keeping us all safe and healthy, and we're grateful for them. So go ahead, put down in the comments below the ways that you celebrated Labor Day this year. Um, maybe some experience or story you have with labor unions or strikes or something that your grandparents or great-grandparents did to make life a better place. Go ahead, like, and subscribe for future pep talks. And as always, have a great week. We love you very much. You're doing a great job.